Today we are with the Homeowner Series on the Nebraska Lands USA map. We have quite a lot of things we need to accomplish today. We will be buying a snowblower and a snowmobile. We will be planting trees and a few other things around the property. I got up a few hours ago and came to the office. I was actually just playing some FS17 here on the computer, but let's get off the computer and head out to the backyard. Over the last a few days, you guys did come up with some great names, and our new dog name will be Diesel. I think that uh, is uh, fits pretty well. Let's come back here, play catch with them, give them a bit of food before we get going on today's projects. And looks like he's eating really quickly, which is great. And let's kind of see if he'll follow us around here as uh, we kind of do some projects around the house. And let's see. So it looks like he is. Uh, come on, Diesel. Let's go check out the chickens. Now we do have, I would say, around 50 to 60 chickens, and they are well uh, kept. We got the food in the previous video, and look at them all, and they are doing pretty well. Now I did make a deal with the local diner to give them some fresh eggs, if we do have any extra, but here we go. Uh, Diesel is still coming with us, so let's kind of go on to the front yard, and I do want to buy an American flag along with some more flowers. I want them to put some flowers out front of our two-car garage, and we are in the works here with some big things happening inside here and I think let's hop into the store and get those things really quickly here we are we'll go into decorations and we'll get the American flag it's only a hundred dollars here and I think let's kind of see would like to place it perfect so that looks to be good there and let's see where that flower pot is and here we go so it's around a uh, flower pot which is great we'll put one there there and one more to make it even and anywhere else uh, let's kind of see wouldn't like to put one in front of each garage door uh, that might be a little tricky but let's see and I'm not sure if we could do one in this corner oh yeah we can perfect so those are uh, nice decorations out front and it looks like Diesel went back to his doghouse, which is okay, since we do have a few things. But there we go, we got the American flag there. Those flower pots really do add color. And the painter should be coming within the next few weeks to give us some new uh, paint there. But let's head on the inside. I, I want to put the ram back inside, and uh, let's uh, go through there. Don't have garage doors on the outside opener yet. And we'll actually take the Ford Raptor to pick up the snowmobile. So I did end up buying a snowblower as well. It's a 30 inch snowblower with a five horsepower. So that should be good enough uh, just to clear around uh, since we also do have a uh, plow. Perfect, so we'll get this in a little bit further. Sometimes it is a bit tricky uh, exactly knowing how far to kind of pull into the garage, but let's get that closed and we'll get this. Now, usually I would take the diesel, but I want to drive the Raptor. It's a ton of fun, and this can tow uh, just over 6,000 pounds as well. It would be nice to get some door openers inside the garage. It makes it a lot easier for us. Let's get the enclosed trailer and we'll head on out. The homeowner series is very popular here on the channel, which is pretty exciting. I really do like this series and I do have some big plans coming up and we do have to move this. Uh, now when we get back later today, I do want to uh, put the plow on because we are getting snow next weekend it uh, turns out, so that's nice. Let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see the homeowner series more than two times. Maybe we could do uh, three times a week. I think that would be pretty nice. And I think that's right about there. Yeah, that's perfect. That backup camera really is helpful. I think we'll first stop by and get the snowblower uh, since it's on the way. And when we get back, we'll uh, check on the mail, uh, since I believe we do have some uh, Christmas cards coming in the mail. I hope everyone has a great holiday Christmas, and uh, just uh, spend time with the family. This uh, Super Cab Raptor looks so cool, especially in the Raptor Blue. Uh, sometimes you buy vehicles and you want them in the specific colors, and the Raptor, I will say, looks awesome in the blue. 
Now we do actually have to find this home improvement store. I believe that we did buy a trailer from them a few days ago. So we'll have to kind of check it out. And I believe it's the next street we'll uh, have to stop. And we'll just put the snow blower in the bed. We should be able to uh, put it in with some help. And there it is. So our brand new snow blower, which is nice. We'll actually switch here, put the tailgate down. Yes, uh, the, uh, this truck allows us to put it down without it going into uh, the jack of the trailer. But here it is, brand new snow blower. I, I can't wait to try it out. And like I have touched upon, hopefully we can uh, coming up next week. This is a season for it, and uh, hopefully we could use it a bunch as well. And we'll put it in. Actually, pretty uh, good. Let's see if we can strap it down. Awesome. So we'll put a strap there and there. So that looks good. Where can we turn around? There looks to be a little bit of an area back here we'll go to. The new farming series is in the works. Hope everyone is excited for that. It will be pretty epic, and I cannot wait for it as roleplay as we can. And the homeowner series will also be a roleplay type as well. Always got to check for traffic, but this snowmobile I paid just over, I think, $13.6 for it. It is brand new as well. I do prefer to buy brand new if uh, we can afford it. And it's actually right out front. And here it is, our brand new snowmobile. This is pretty cool. It's a uh, ski do. You guys can see the model there, the 800R e -Tech. This thing looks awesome. Now, it would be pretty cool to get some custom logos on the side of this, but for now, uh, let's get it loaded up. The deal's already done. I actually bought it a few days ago, and they just did some maintenance on it really quickly for us. Trying to position it correctly for the tongue weight. We don't want too much weight, especially on the rafter. Oh, yeah, the suspension's getting a little bit of a workout, and uh, it's uh, sitting a little bit low. Raptors are meant for having off-road fun, not really for towing. I will have to say, going down the road, this is pretty epic, and uh, I, I do prefer the Raptor overall, but the Dually, I think, is what we're going to have to use as a tow vehicle, especially when we do have this trailer, but this trailer isn't really too heavy as well, which is nice. I would stop and get some gas for the Raptor, but we have a trailer, and it was a little busy there as well. So I really do appreciate all of your feedback on all of the videos. Lately, you guys have been uh, really enjoying the Homeowner series and have been giving me some great ideas. So yes, we will uh, be continuing this series. I'm not sure if we'll get a lake house. I do have another idea, uh, which uh, should be pretty exciting. So we'll give that a try, and I think that would be awesome. But if you do have any cool ideas what we should do project-wise, let me know. And when we are actually back there at the barn, I want to talk about uh, a possible big, big purchase here for the series. But let's grab the mail. A few Christmas cards look like from a few of our friends. And let's head on to the back area. Now, I do try to stay on our driveway as much as we can. Really don't want to be driving off it uh, other than kind of coming back here. But we'll get this unloaded, put the trailer put away. And while we are back here, I do want to talk about it. So I got a call from the local farmer, and he is saying that we could buy the five acres behind us. And what I was thinking was, uh, like our old house, we could buy this five acres, build a dirt track, build kind of a pond, and have kind of a nice area. So let me know if we should do that. Uh, put a yes to to buying that extra land but uh, I think that'll be uh, pretty exciting to do let's get the uh, snowmobile out and uh, we also do have to get the OBS uh, ready to go for next week definitely want to make sure everything works today just in case uh, something doesn't we can get it repaired and where can we put it we'll just have to move this tractor I hope everyone has a great start to the year, have some great goals, and accomplish them uh, throughout the months. I do have some goals here for the channel, and I can't wait to uh, tackle them with all of you guys supporting. Perfect, so we got that. Let's get the trailer, and we'll bring the Raptor to the front.
Now, I think I ordered just over $3,200 worth of trees that we are going to be pl uh, planting. So that's going to be great. We are using the uh, placeable tool. We really would like to plant them by hand, but uh, it's not too realistic to do it that way. Awesome. Let's uh, get the snowblower. Now, the snowblower will be back up here at the main garage uh, so we can kind of clear this out. with the straps off here and we'll just put it in between the doors I think that would be a great area looks to be good now one uh, feature I really would like to come hopefully it comes uh, would be to open the tailgates outside that would be awesome we'll put this in between the doors and almost uh, got up in there not sure why uh, that is a glitch that I did find here but there we go in between the doors I did put a little piece of cardboard underneath there so it doesn't rust on our brand new garage floor but that's it here uh, I really want to get the OBS ready to go really quickly and then we'll buy those trees Usually these homeowner series videos are pretty long, we have so much to do, and there's so many projects that have to be done, and we just have a big list that keeps getting bigger. Looks to be good there, we'll attach the wires, and this is a quick attach, so it is pretty helpful. I also get this uh, locked up here, I always do put a lock on it, because we do have some expensive things on the inside. Now I would prefer for this uh, older 7.3 to be inside a garage, but this will be outside. We'll actually just put it uh, right outside this garage here. This will be perfect, and we'll just kind of get the plow dropped. Looks like I do have to change that. Let's kind of see, can we fix it? Perfect, so that looks pretty good. We'll get it turned off there, let's uh, get it plugged in. So we'll put the wire out and run it through the door right in there. Awesome, so we got the 7.3 plugged in. We should be good to go. Uh, let's buy these trees and conclude today's video. Now these trees here, I really do like them a lot. They are actually with the placeable tool and they are under decorations. And let's see, so we'll buy these, $1,000 a piece, pretty expensive. And let's kind of put one there, one at each post. Actually, we'll go a few extra posts. There we go. That looks to be good. Perfect, so we got trees there. I think we'll put a few on the uh, outside. Really like uh, the nice open yard as well, so really don't want to do put too many uh, in the, the middle area. And we'll get a few of the other trees to put along the side. Perfect. So I think that's all we will do there for trees. I hope all of you guys enjoyed today's busy day here at the property. So many projects and so many more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.